Okay, <clears throat> I've taken a few, a uh, couple of photos of uh, the equipment. And this photo, uh, we've got the computer, which I'm running the RS Logic software. Um, these two items here, this is the, uh, up here is the Micrologix 1100, and it's uh, mounted on a, uh, a black box with a number of connections on the top. This is actually what LabVault, uh, the company, produces. It's a training module. And uh, this item here is basically a, um, a traffic light, a model of a traffic light, <coughs> uh, which will not be used uh, in, in these uh, exercises that I will talk about later. Um, now, next uh, photo. This is a close-up. Now, basically, uh, you can't see it too clearly, but this is the top display of the uh, Micrologix 1100. On the menu, there's, um, uh, we've got Program, and down here is Run. And you have to change those two options depending on whether you are downloading a program, a new program into the PLC, which is program, or you want the PLC to actually run, which you have to select that option. So you have to do change those options between running and programming. <clears throat> now, now I want to like to talk about this, um, these input inputs and outputs down here. Uh, starting with this orange cable, this is orange means it's a crossover cable. Uh, this runs to the uh, a network port on the back of the computer. Now I'll talk about the software they, um, to uh, make those software network connections later. Um, now down here there's uh, two variable pots uh, with a plus or minus 10 volt, uh, sorry, plus 10 volts to earth on both of them. And those analog uh, inputs are going into IV1 and IV2. And it says, shows down here 0 to 10 volts. And there's the common point. So that's your two analog inputs on your PLC. Now we've got a number of push buttons here. Uh, the first three are normally open push buttons, and then the second two are normally closed. Uh, obviously hooked up to 24 volts because the uh, digital inputs take 24 volts, 0 to 24 volts. And then you've got on off switches here, which are all uh, normally, uh, they're showing in a normally open position here. Um, and I've got a couple of those wired up for my uh, testing and programming. Now on the uh, input section here, you've got I backslash zero, I backslash one, I backslash two, and all it goes up to nine. So um, I'll just talk about later uh, how that translates across to uh, when you're doing your software programming, what the software input register or data register relates to that. And over this side is your uh, outputs. So these outputs are coming from the relay terminals into here. These first two are uh, relay, actual relay, switched relay outputs, which can uh, do a couple of amps. Um, <clears throat> so it's good for driving, say, small motors or um, high-powered, uh, reasonable-powered resistive loads. Uh, the third one is a high-speed FET. This, I believe, it does uh, 40 kilohertz. Uh, frequency, switching frequency, maximum, and the rest of them are just uh, normal FETs. I think it's a bit, they're a bit slower switching rate, but they can handle higher current, a couple of amps there. Now, they, you've got some LEDs on here. Those are actually symbolizing uh, traffic lights. So you don't actually need the larger traffic light module to practice uh, PLC programming with traffic lights. And here's a 24-volt uh, power supply which you can use to help energize other uh, external um, devices, powered devices. Just going a bit close on there's just a zoom up of that same photo frame. Alright, I'll just stop that one there. <clears throat>